These are directions for workplace 6A factors and multiples. Each pair of players will need two color pencils of different colors and a 6A factors and multiples record sheet, one copy for both people to share. To begin the game, player one will choose a target number. In this case, if I were player one, I wanted to choose 14, so that's where we'd start. That is gonna be our target number, and this number will represent my point for this round. Using a different color, player two will circle all of the factors of that target number. So in this case, player two would circle one, two, and seven with a different color because those are all the factors of 14. Player two will then add all of the factors together. So one plus two is three plus seven is 10. So player two will have 10 points and player one has 14 points. From there, player two will take their turn and then they will switch places by player two picking a target number and player one will circle the factors of that number. Once a, once a number on the game board has been circled, it can no longer be used. The players will continue taking turns choosing target numbers and circling factors. If after completing a turn, a player realizes they missed a factor, they cannot get those points. When no further plays can be made, the game is over and each player will find the sum of the numbers that are circled in the squares. Well, the player with the greatest score is the winner. These are the end of the directions for workplace 6A factors and multiples. If you're looking for different variations of this game, the, each pair of players may choose to play another pair or players may create a game board that contains numbers greater than 36 for more of a challenge.